Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Keeping Fish Simple. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about seven fish that you can keep in a 10 gallon aquarium. And this list isn't going to be in order. This is going to be seven really, really good fish for a 10 gallon aquarium. And most of these fish I've kept. There's a few in this list that I haven't kept that I really want to try, but I just don't have the space at the moment. And I'm going to try and give you guys as much information about those fish as possible. So make sure you stay around to the end of the video to listen to the whole list. Now the first fish on the list is the platy. Now the platy is a live bearing fish. It looks really cool. I don't have any platies at the moment, but I've kept these guys in the past and they're super easy to breed. These guys stay really, really small. You can keep them in groups of like 10 in an aquarium and they'll just keep breeding and breeding. I'd recommend to get one male per two females and that's the average when you have live bearers because that's a really good ratio. Um, the males tend to nip at the females and all kinds of stuff, but they are really pretty, super easy to take care of. You really don't need any kind of water parameters and I've seen people keep these guys without heaters. So if you want to look into those, um, go for that, but that's my first fish on the list. Now the next fish of course is the guppy. Uh, it wouldn't be a good video without me saying this. The guppy is a super easy fish to take care of. I've kept these guys in the past. Super easy to look after, Any, pretty much any water parameters. You get a whole wide range of different kinds. I definitely recommend to get the fancy guppies if you're gonna get any kind of guppies. They look really cool, they've got heaps of good fins and um, they're so easy to breed. And the same kind of ratio, you want one male per two females and you'll have so much success with these guys, it's not even funny. Okay, finally onto a fish that's not a live bearer. My next fish on the list is the Zebra Danio. Now I currently keep these guys in that aquarium down there and I've bred about four million of them in the past couple of months and if you guys want to watch the videos on them um, there's a playlist that you can go and check out on my channel whatever but these guys are so cool they are super darty they pretty much run around the tank like crazy they're a little sharky kind of fish and they look really cool they have like zebra stripes you can also get leopard kinds they pretty much take any kind of water parameters and to breed them doesn't really take that much effort either so these guys are really cool if you've got kids and you want kids to see heaps of like fish running around in the aquarium because they're constantly darting around and um, moving and uh, they also take pretty much every kind of food that there is so I feed mine like blood worms and stuff like that but you can literally get by with just flakes um, super easy to take care of one of my favorite fish now the next fish on the list isn't something that I'd recommend for your beginners and I've been having a little bit of trouble with these guys um, because they come from farms and they're a little bit uh, finicky and sensitive and that's the dwarf neon rainbow so these guys are the Precost rainbows they are an Australian native fish so from where I'm from and they look super cool so they don't really have much stripes and they've got but they've got this cool shape and this iridescent kind of look and they have so much personality it's so cool so they show more color during the morning than they do at night and they breed um, they're like egg scatterers so they breed in moss and all kinds of stuff they're super cool fish I absolutely adore mine and I wouldn't recommend them for beginners just because they're a little bit more sensitive but they like harder water and they like warmer temperatures and that's pretty much all I can say about these guys super cool you can fit them in a 10 gallon aquarium because they're super small um, and you'll have heaps of fun breeding and taking care of these guys. So of course the next fish on the list is the Endler Guppy. The Endler Guppy is such a cool fish. Um, it's a smaller version of the Guppy and it's definitely a little bit easier to take care of than guppies because they are a lot more hardier and they're not as inbred. So you can get all kinds of endless. I've got blue star endless down here and I've also got tiger endless and I've got some kind of like weird leopard kind of breed of endless. Um, they're super cool literally chuck them in an aquarium, leave them and they'll breed. Um, one of the easiest fish to take care of in the entire hobby. I've had so much success with these guys, it's not funny. Super good fish if you want to try and breed them for profit. Literally, I can go on for days. There's like so many different colors you can get. Literally the best fish ever. And the guppies are one of my favorite fish in the entire hobby and I definitely recommend these guys for a 10 gallon aquarium. Um, they're such a cool fish. Number two is the Rasboras. So I've kept Rasboras in the past. I don't have any Rasboras at the moment. You can get kind of Harlequin Rasboras and get all kinds of sorts of different types. They're super easy to take care of. They go great in a community aquarium. They school. They literally take any kind of food. Um, they're not too sensitive and they have awesome appeal. So these are definitely a really good fish if you want to chuck in some extra like uh, fish to school around in an aquarium that doesn't really have much appearance to it at the moment. Um, Literally, that's all I can say about these guys because they really just speak for themselves when you look at them. They are so cool. I love them so much. Okay, so the last fish is so... I've said so cool in this video so many times, but this is really something special. It's the Epistogramma. Now, the Epistogrammas that I keep are the Capitoides kinds. They're my favorite. They look so cool. I've got the double reds, but you can get Agassizias, McMasterized, literally, the list goes on. They are a little bit more tricky to breed and a little bit harder to take care of. They like soft water, so they like low pH, and they like lots of... Um, 
acid in the water and things like that. So they go good in a 10 gallon aquarium, just a pair of these guys, and normally they don't really need to be habitated with any other fish. I keep mine with bristlenose just to keep the aquarium clean, but these guys are super cool. They show so much personality, and you can get them to spawn, but it's a little bit more tricky than other fish, and I haven't really tried it yet, but I'm hoping to get them to spawn eventually, and I'll get some videos out for that. But that's the seven fish on this list. I hope you guys got some ideas out of this and learned something, and I'll see you guys in the next video.